Hello, welcome back to this. My name is Jojo Siwa, and you're watching Jackass. All right, it's that time of week again. It's defense time. You might notice the score here looks a little bit low. Actually, not because of the defense. Uh, because I've become very lazy on offense, very lazy with the pots. Defense, things actually went pretty well. Pretty well. Could have been better. That's why I'm not so upset about the offense going weird, because who cares? I'm still in the vault. If you're going to miss pots, chaos isn't the time to do it. But it's chaos defense time. Let's take a look at it. I got a few things I want to talk about, including... Maybe you already saw the name. Maybe it's already revealed, but a very special visitor came through the keep. Let's take a look at the team, how it works, when it works, what's going on here. So, it is... Uh, three quarters of Choose Your Legends, eight, because we talked about that in the last video. It's Duo Fjorm, because what an absolute unit. It's Celica, because it turns out range is really good in this game. And like the one flex unit option I got, we went with Makaya, which could also be considered essential. But the idea here is that she has rally defense, so she's gonna come down here, rally on one of these two, if someone's in range of them, and then kind of drift over. The, the idea is basically just creating a rally trap for Robin and Bernadetta to get involved in places you might not expect them to, which I find very fun. I, 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 like, I, I like the cheeky rally traps in 2024 because everyone forgot about them like four years ago. All right, what happens when it works? This happens when it works. Bro. Probably. Do I remember exactly? How does it work? There it is. Now Robin can get involved if she wants to. She has more range you ever would have guessed. But um, it turns out Bernadetta... Oh. You didn't believe me when I said Robin could do it, but Robin very much could do it. Um, this unit is minus attack, by the way. Just keep that in mind. The brand new... The brand new far savior, which should work, doesn't work. This one kind of works, though. And uh, the, the whole idea of this team is that I like... Bernie's Vanspiration. It makes things really weird. Some stuff that normally beats Felix doesn't when he has Desperation. It's a lot harder to attack into these units when they have Vantage. That's the idea. You might think it would interrupt Fjorm, but she wants to run Hardy Bearing anyway, so it's just doing double duty. Also, that was a like fully stacked up, refined Melody. We'll, I'll show it in a second. But um, that's kind of that's kind of how it works, and it's just a. It's just one big turn, baby. It's just one huge turn for the fans. So like, this is, this was the unit. This is everything you could possibly want. I wish I had this unit. This unit seems like a lot of fun. Unfortunately, it <laughs> got done a little dirty by me. I'm out here ruining the game, I guess. That's what I do. The thing about this team is that I, I wanted to do something a little bit different and original. And um, did I? I don't think so. I'm gonna talk about more about that in a minute. Let's watch this one. We got the, the, the Bernie versus Bernie. We got the Sigurd in the place. We got good units. We got good strong units here. Um, I don't think... I think they thought they had more time, is what I think when I watch this back. This one seems like a case of thinking they had more time. Um, just really the Vantage effect not... The, the 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 Bernie effect not getting to do enough Bernie stuff on their side and they're playing it out respect for playing it out but uh why is that unit so bulky that unit is so annoyingly bulky that unit gave me a horrible case of leprosy in Ponds of Loki light I can tell you that much but at the end you just kind of it's the alternate surrender <laughs> you attack into something that loses the match for you um, one more before we see the very special fun time thing. What do we have here? Is this a bonus unit? She sure is an arena. At the HP stat kind of looks like it. Um, more, but everyone is using Brandon Edit for everything. I, I do think she is one of the most fun units of the game right now. I also think she is deliriously overtuned. All right, actually getting in. Actually live. The way Felix works, I still does not actually make any sense to me. Sometimes he does zero, sometimes he does 4,000 damage. In this case, both happened at the same time, and it... I don't understand what defines what with that guy. Anyway. It's another big turn for the squad. Now, look who it is. 
She still opens the game from time to time. Everyone, comment down below. We miss you, Wylia. Because Wylia is a true OG of Ether Raids on YouTube, of Fae content. Really, like, the pioneer. I think the first person I ever saw uploading Ether Raids videos. So there's no Levin Seti without a Wylia. So thank you, Wylia. Also, sorry, Wylia. You could comment that too. <laughs> So what did she bring? Um, you all, real ones know the saga of Wylia and Ike, so there is something funny about that. Um, it's a little bit of a mirror match. How does it go? Uh, Suboptimally, it looks like. Just again, the range is overbearing. And you didn't think you were gonna get Robin. You're gonna get Robin, it's Robin time. She's got the jumpies. She's making the moves. All right, so that's that. I'm so sorry to Wiley. Now we can talk about the things I actually, the things I really wanted to talk about in this video, which is um, the biggest thing, oh, there's two things. We're gonna get into one after we watch a couple of losses. One is just that I feel like uh, the Halloween banner and the banner that we just got a trailer for last night with the accessory lady dagger. I already forgot what the new units are called, the new unit type is called, cause it truly doesn't matter. Um, this unit's good, by the way. I don't know if you knew that, but he's, uh, he's pretty good of a unit. Um, these have felt like the two most skippable banners kind of in a long time, which on the one hand is really nice, right? Because there have been so many essential units back to back to back to back. Like, I mean, Sigurd was in the middle there, so it's like we just got like Duo Fjorm, necessary. CYL8, necessary. Emblem Sigurd, necessary. Like, very difficult to play the game at a high level in every mode if you don't have all those units. They're, the game is sort of designed around those units at this point. But the fact that all of the banners around that are just sort of nothing burgers is um, really a problem in terms of what I was talking about in my last video, which is that we're playing with an incomplete set right now. CYL8 really did feel like a reset to the meta. CYL8 really made so many things just outclass to a point of being unusable. And that means the unit pool right now is really small. There are very few units you can actually play with in this game and accomplish anything. And we actually need banners with new units that are playable. <laughs> or we need better refines or something because I don't like that my team is literally just three quarters of CYL8 and then like the two other best units in the game. <laughs> In like Micaiah and Fiona. I mean, you can argue whatever the best teams of the game are, right? I could have thrown Sigurd on there. It probably would have made it better. I didn't get him when I made the team. I have him now. We'll do some stuff with that eventually sometime, probably. I don't know. But the point is just... We're playing with an incomplete set. And it's just... When the game first came out, it had like... 100 units or something? It was 70 plus, I think. And right now it feels like we're playing a game that has like... 27 units. And it's just not enough. Because I really like making teams and being creative, and I don't feel like there's any room to do that right now. Or, like, I mean, like, of course there is, right? But I would just be losing more, and I really like when the game has more of a balance between those things. One more loss. This is the one that counted. So sad. Um, and that brings me to my, this one brings me to my next point, actually. So look at this. I'm shocked we haven't seen more of this guy. I'm also also like the very rare set. You don't usually see him actually run that. I'm an AOE Felixer myself, but that's mostly because I didn't feel like spending feathers on Gale Force. Um, it's also this again. The whole like end turn, like end turn meta now means something else. It's no longer ending your own turn and tanking. It's ending the entire enemy team's turn so that <laughs> you just get to play, because getting pots was really hard this week. Am I the only one problem with that? It was very difficult. Maybe I should have been using a different bonus unit. I don't know. Um, so just jump right on my trap, do the thing. Actually get away with it, even though that took two whole actions, which is kind of crazy. Um, here it is. The unit block. Helix's turn ends, which I wanted to say, I'm a little mad that that works. I was under the impression that this guy could end his turn and get another turn. So very selective. The game doesn't work in my favor ever. Felix will always, even when I'm the one using Felix, he finds a way to mess up my run, it seems. And that's also Felix doing the Felixing to my Felix. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
But the point is that um, I tried to do something different. I tried to use a different map than everyone else is using and build a team around it. And if you if you know about the infantry posture, you might know that this tile is, or wait, yeah, that tile, right? I think the tile that Felix landed on is key to that. And I didn't like just getting savagely Felix. That makes me feel like a big, dumb, stupid idiot. So after Viridian, shattered my confidence, we had to make a little change. And my attempt at innovating a team to be the slightest bit creative I could just turned into an infantry pasta. It's literally just the infantry pasta. <laughs> an infantry pasta doesn't even use the infantry pasta anymore, so I feel like a, like a double silly boy. I'm trapped in the past, although it did, it did work. The crazy thing is that this did work. I didn't lose again after I changed this, so. Here's what it looks like when it works for working reasons. It's Sigurd again, but uh, the ice stays icy. I don't think Cornelia really wants to be there. That's a nice Cornelia, though. And boom, and we're covered by Fjorm. We're even getting some healing, so Sigurd has to waste one action on this. Boom, goes back in for this. Everyone's at no HP. Oh wow, he's getting just an infinite number of actions, isn't he? But I still have all the range in the world. Three KOs, more than I could possibly ask for. And uh, all right, it's taken, but three KOs is good enough for me. Apparently someone just started vacuuming. I'm really sorry if that's getting picked up, but uh, Season ends in 20 minutes, so I truly can't stop. What do we have here? Oh, look, it's this guy again, huh? Really haven't seen much of him this week. That's crazy. It's nothing but mirror matches because there are like fewer than 30 units that are playable. Very silly game. This person made the interesting choice of using Peony as a bonus unit in Chaos, which I always try to avoid doing, even though dancers are usually the best bonus units. When they have to get a KO, I trust Peony a lot less. Is this one stacked up? This one may be able to actually play. The uh, remote Sparrow could be really nice there, actually. I don't have that on mine. Uh-oh. Hardy bearinged. Yes, it turns out that um, it really is that easy because the list of units that beats Fjorm is even shorter than the list of viable units. It, it literally is like, it's a single digit number, right? I think it's a single digit number. Anyway, we got away with a little Felix action in the Felix zone and they didn't want to take the, they didn't want to take the losses, so. One unit meta, what can I tell you? Check out this. Who's ending turns now? I wish I had that unit actually. No, you know what? I don't. I don't like that guy. I never did. The unit. Sir Isaac, I'm sure you're great. Thank you for discovering gravity. Uh, we're getting close to the end. It's a quick one. It's a quick one. We're going fast, fast, fast. What happens here? Did you look at that? The usual suspect. This is actually a really strong player phase team. This is what, like 17,000 actions? That's nuts. They can just burn them. They can just bow burn them, these actions. And, oh my god, wow. Yeah, I guess, um... You know, I hadn't thought about the strategy of, like, reducing the threat range and then retreating. That's really smart. But they hadn't thought about the strategy of catapulting the safety fence, apparently. Basically, I'm epic. That's what I'm getting out of this, out of the equation here. Huh, they have a Felix, but they're not Felix thing. Yet it's still a significant mirror match, but no hardy baroning. Ooh, how interesting. What could that possibly mean? What could the implications of such a thing possibly be? Yeah, okay. That's real. That's legit. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. 
<laughs> she actually did damage though, which is rare. Yeah, this is... That's about... That's more what I... Oh, can Celica just not double? That's rare. That life is breathing. Yeah, okay. I win this? Oh, right. Fair and balanced. Here it comes? Yeah. But here's the thing. Fair is fair. If you can dish it out, you gotta be able to take it, am I right? All right, one more, and then I'll let you go on your merry way. Ah, the double save. Now this is really interesting because See, I would have thought you just use this unit as the savior. I don't know why this unit is here if not doing any actual saving. It's an interesting team comp. Like, put like, I would run like set if there's something as a support in this situation personally. That's just me. I'm thinking about giving that boy a lot of fodder. I have some rearmed charges to burn, so. I actually got my rearmed peony, my attuned peony up to plus 11 by accident. <laughs> With a lucky pull on the new um, whatever banner that she's on, so. Maybe said that gonna get some some guidance and some attuned skill. Could be fun. Talk me out of it or into it in the comments if you dare. So, and this is exactly what I was talking about with the incomplete set, because when you release the new units, and even with hardy bearing, even with hardy bearing, she doesn't even need the quad. Also, the rally trap getting massive value right there. I think, potentially. Maybe it didn't matter, actually. Maybe it did. Anyway, that's how the cookie crumbles, so... A successful scheme on defense, and I am not punished for my sins on offense. Uh, let me know what you thought of this chaos season, or anything I said about the meta, and I'm gonna let this video be a nice little 17 minutes for you, so... That's that, hope you're having a good week. Hope you're enjoying what you can about this silly little game. Uh, I'll probably post another video before I die, so until then.